Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Truths for Russell Brand and other people, episode 149. Today's is about the effects of emotions, negative emotions on our health. Hmm. So I've included a little chart, I think, I hope. I don't know if it'll... What? It's already blocking me. <laughs> oh, I love the computer. Love. Humans. Experience an array of emotions, anything from happiness to sadness to extreme joy and depression. Each one of these emotions creates a different feeling within the body. After all, our body releases different chemicals when we experience various things that make us happy. And each chemical works to create a different environment within the body. For example, if your brain releases serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin, you'll feel good and happy. Conversely, if your body releases cortisol while you're stressed, you'll have an entirely different feeling associated more with the body kicking into survival mode. <laughs> <laughs> what about when we're thinking negative thoughts all the time? Or how about when we're thinking positive thoughts? What about when we're not emotionally charged or neither positive or negative? Let's explore how these affect our body and our life. Positive versus negative. Is there duality in our world? Sure, you could say that for to a degree, but mostly we spend a lot of time defining and judging what it is to be considered as positive and what we consider to be negative. The brain is a very powerful tool. As we define what something is or should be, we begin to have that result play out in our world. Have you ever noticed, for example, that someone driving can get cut off and lose their lid and get angry and suddenly they're feeling negative, down and in a bad mood, whereas someone else can get cut off while driving? <laughs> and they can just say, itty bitty, teeny bitty, ha ha ha, and wave it away. No, that's what I used to do. <laughs> now I don't even notice it. It's interesting. The less that you are in that frequency, you don't attract that at all. There is nothing to have a road rage over, which is a really kind of cool thing, right? Don't you think? Ooh, ooh, ooh. it's kind of hot. <laughs> 93. I remember doing a show where it was three. Now it's 93. Cut the perceptions as much as possible. After thinking about it a moment, you might realize that there is in fact no positive or negative experience other than the one that we defined as such. Therefore, our very perception of an experience or situation has the ultimate power as to how we will feel when it's happening and how our bodies will be affected. While we can always work to move beyond our definitions of each experience and move into a state of mind, awareness, consciousness, where we simply accept each experience for what it is and use it as a learning grounds for us, we may not be there yet, but it is important to understand how certain emotions can affect our health. Hippocrates said, if someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he is ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then is it possible to help. <laughs> Mind-body connection. Connection between your mind and body is very powerful. Although it cannot be visually seen, the effects your mind have on your physical body are profound. We can have an overall positive mental attitude and deal directly with our internal challenges and turn, create a healthy lifestyle. Or it can be negative and help self-destructive thoughts and not deal with our mental internal issues, possibly even cloak those issues with affirmations and positivity without finding the root. And in turn, we can create an unhealthy lifestyle. And why is this? Our emotions and experiences are essentially energy and they can be stored in the cellular memory of our bodies. If you're experienced something in your life and left an emotional mark, a pain in a certain area of your body, uh, Almost as if you can still feel that something that might have happened to you. It is likely because in that area of your body you still hold the energy released from that experience and it is remaining in the area. I came across an interesting chart that explores some possible areas of various emotions and how they affect the body. So there's like a little emotional pain chart. When you have a pain or a tightness or an injury in a certain area, it's often related to something emotionally that you're dealing with. At first glance, it may not seem this way because you're usually very out of touch with ourselves and our emotions in the fast-paced world, but it's often the truth. When I've had chronic pains in my back, knees, neck, or shoulders, it wasn't exercise, physio, or anything, physical sense that healed it. It was when I dealt with the emotions behind it. I know this because I spent the time and money going through <laughs> what I thought it would make me better, but it wasn't addressed still. The more I addressed the unconscious thought pattern and emotions throughout my body, the more things loosened up and the pain went away. When you get sick, are you feeling tightness and pain? 
Are you asking yourself and observing yourself and finding peace once again within and in your environment? It's a learning and growing process. We don't have to judge and fear. You have the power. So, David Suzuki wrote in Sacred Balance, condensed molecules from breath, exhaled from verbal expressions of anger, hatred, jealousy, contain toxins accumulating over one hour. These toxins are enough to kill 80 guinea pigs. Can you imagine the harm you're doing to your body when you say negative emotions or unprocessed mental, emotional experience throughout the body? Remember, you have the power in you to get through anything life throws at you. Instead of labeling with perception the concepts of negative and positive as it relates to each experience you have in your life, try to see things from a big picture standpoint. Ask yourself, how can this help me to see or learn something? Can I use this to shift my perception? Clear some emotion within myself realize something within another and accept it whatever it may be instead of simply reacting slow things down and observe you will find that you have the tools to process emotions and illness quickly when you see them for what they are and explore why they came up you believe you will get sick all the time you will have pain because it's all out of your control will you continue to have it in all your uncomfortable matter uncontrolled until you realize the control that you have over much of what we attract within the body. Do, 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 do. You've got the steering wheel. <laughs> Don't forget your perception. You are the one in charge of that life. You write the story. You might as well get out the gratitude journal and thank for it already. That's what I do. Anyway, love you. <laughs>